This summer, all eyes are on Margot Robbie as she steps into Barbie's iconic shoes. But there's much more to Margot than just great acting skills and perfect looks. She is full of surprises. Brace yourself for our first revelation. Margot Robbie intended to stay behind the camera for summer's most awaited film. She started to work on it as an executive producer. Actually, the star was the one who initiated the project with Greta Gerwig. I called Greta. Yes. I thought it would be really exciting and really scary because, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it wrong. But if you did it right, it could be huge. Margot had a lot to do on the film set, so it seemed like playing the main part might be too much for her. It wasn't that I ever wanted to play Barbie or dreamed of being Barbie or anything like that. I really didn't even think about playing Barbie until years into developing the project. So, Hollywood's finest actresses were considered for the role, including Gal Gadot, Anne Hathaway, and even Amy Schumer. But finally, it was decided. Robbie was the perfect one to breathe life into Barbie. Still, there was one more reason why Margot didn't plan to take part in the movie. She wasn't a fan of Barbies when she was younger. She's not even sure she ever owned one. Hard to believe, but Margot was more of a tomboy than a doll-loving princess. I was not a great daughter. I, w I, I am forever in my mom's debt because I was a, such a brat and I feel really bad about it. Growing up, Margot had a penchant for traditionally boyish activities, playing with tracks and mooching around in the bog. Nevertheless, even with her lack of Barbie experience, Margot totally killed it. Need proof? The actress's paycheck now speaks volumes. Yes, at just 32, she has a lot of high-profile projects under her belt, from her breakout role in The Wolf of Wall Street and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to last year's Babylon. She has shared screens with industry bigwigs like Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt, yet Margot's earnings often paled in comparison to her co-stars. But Barbie was the game-changer. Robbie pocketed a whopping $12.5 million for that film. It made her the highest-paid female actress in Hollywood. What's her secret? Margot's dedication to Barbie, right down to the smallest detail. She trained with a movement coach to embody the plastic doll. Fans were stunned by Margot's portrayal in the trailer, particularly her arched feet. While some speculated about stunt doubles or CGI wizardry, Margot set the record straight. It was all her. <laughs> yes, it is me. No, it's no, no special effects. You'd be amazed how few VFX there are in this film, actually. Yeah. A couple yeah. of takes, and I kind of held on to like a bar so I was steady once I stepped. The star has another Barbie-like quality, her figure. She always stays in great shape no matter what she eats. Robbie has shared on more than one occasion that her eating plan is far from perfect. Uh, I love fries burgers, but if I have to get in a bikini, then I eat carrot sticks for three days. I'm one extreme or the other. Chocolate, waffles, and fries are the main food groups that make up my diet. Sometimes the actress even takes part in food eating competitions. I once ate four pounds of spaghetti bolognese uh, in an hour. That was the... It's very impressive. There was a time frame. Yeah. That made it more difficult. Otherwise, I don't know how much I could have eaten. Probably not that much more. It was a lot of spaghetti. It was like a bucket of spaghetti bolognese. But you won. But I won. Margot freely shares her thoughts about all the modern diets. I get miserable if I don't eat. I can't just have a salad every day and half a glass of wine every second day. I can't do it. Instead of sipping posh wine, Margot enjoys a can of beer to relax after a stressful day. But here's a twist. She prefers her beer in a hot bath or a shower. The actress says that the combination makes her fall asleep in a minute. Margot also takes a different approach to exercise. She has never been a gym rat, Instead, she prefers something more dynamic, like boxing. I've done a bit of boxing, yeah, mainly to prepare for fight training, like stunt work, and I really, really like it. I have stupidly long arms, like they're too long for my body. So actually, it's kind of good when you're boxing. Margot also has a knack for hockey. Before she got so busy with acting and producing multiple films, Robbie was quite serious about it. She was in a hockey league. Even when the actress can't play the sport, she is often a guest at Ranger Games. And donned player gear for Halloween. So for Halloween, we all got Mighty Ducks jerseys and we like ran around New York in a flying V formation. The actress has been passionate about this sport since she was a young girl. 
Growing up watching the Mighty Ducks and I loved the Mighty Ducks and I always wanted to play ice hockey. And Talking about Margot's early years, we have a bunch of interesting facts. Like, she went to circus school as a kid. The actress's mother once revealed that young Robbie was a bundle of energy, performing impromptu stunts at home. The circus seemed like a way to channel this enthusiasm in a positive way. Robbie's chosen medium? The trapeze? One source even shared that in her early years, Margot had dreams about flying through the air, high above the net under the big top. Now that's a hidden talent we'd love to see on the big screen. The actress comes from a family of four children. All of them were raised single-handedly by their mother. So before she was a household name, teenage Margot worked several humble jobs to support herself. From manning the cash register at a pharmacy to stocking shelves at a grocery store, she's done it all. The actress jokes that for some time she was a sandwich artist at Subway. I think I was really good at it though, because I you know, would really spread everything out to the edges evenly, the right amount of everything. So if you ever grabbed a sandwich in Melbourne during the 2010s, you might have been served by the now superstar. There is one more service that Robbie can provide. She could ink a tattoo for you. Margot picked up this unusual hobby during the filming of Suicide Squad. She just bought a tattoo gun and started practicing on the spot. The actress's first clients were her colleagues, Cara Delevingne and the film director David Ayer, and of course, herself. Mine's on my foot right here. I did my own one. Where is it there? Right there on my foot. Still, not everything went smoothly with her new hobby. The cast assistant on Suicide Squad got quite a strange inscription on his hand. I did see Spell one wrong once. That was extreme. <laughs> you spelled the tattoo wrong. I, I was writing a word and I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Everyone was spelling word. it as S-K-W-A-D, yeah. but I went straight from the S to the W. Squad? <laughs> Margot finessed her skills on almost 100 people. Still, after a few got something different from what they expected, the actress decided to hang up her gun. But don't worry, she's not sweating it. After all, her paramount talent is acting. However, many people still wonder how the Australian girl ended up as a massive Hollywood star. Believe it or not, it's all thanks to her flair for letter writing. How did Robbie score her first part as Friedman on Neighbors? She begged for a role with a heartfelt letter. How did she then land the plum role of Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, scored in the same way? Robbie said that she has managed to land an incredible career by penning letters to the entertainment industry's leaders. She embodies the essence of the old saying, if you want something, go get it. You might assume that with her star status and wealth, Margot's vacations are all about luxury and excess. But you'd be mistaken. Robbie and her husband, Tom Ackerley, are more drawn to the call of the wild. They often escape to camping sites, secluded wilderness spots or tree houses in the middle of nowhere. They even opted for an adrenaline-fueled getaway for their honeymoon. We go to Tahiti and we'd go to this island where you kind of live like Robinson Crusoe, like it's bit, like there's just like a shack that you stay in and there's no electricity and there's no mirrors or anything like that. So we'd been there for four days. Quite impressive, right? Speaking of Margot's marriage, here's another shocking tidbit. She confessed that it's always a party of three in bed with her husband, who's the third wheel. It is the actress's cherished childhood toy. Even today, Margot cuddles up with her stuffed bunny every night, much to the disdain of Ackerley. The man says it's disgusting at this point, but there's one passion that Margot and Tom share wholeheartedly, their love for the magical world of Harry Potter. Tom got a small role as a Slytherin student in the movie, and Margot said that she's never found anything more interesting than Potterverse. She shared that she's read the books probably 20 times each. If you could spend the day with anyone in the world, who would that be? J.K. Rowling. As we've discovered, Margot Robbie is not just a glamorous Hollywood star, but a woman full of surprising and relatable traits. Let us know in the comments which fact about the actress surprised you the most.